you are welcome to banahene tutorial collections and in this interface of my monitor screen i have this image or thumbnail previewed and this thumbnail relates to a video i've already posted on my channel that shows you how to insert a video into microsoft word and let's assume that you have a well created document you want to share and collaborate that document to your colleagues or friends and you have a video that can best explain that document you can straightforward embed or insert that video into microsoft word and when you share this document to your colleagues or friends they can read the contents of your document and also view the video right in microsoft word so if you want to learn how to insert a video into microsoft word i am going to drop the link of this video in the description below now based on this video that i have posted on my channel i had a comment from a cherished viewer now the comment about this video that is how to insert offline video into microsoft word the comment says very good video thank you however i have a question how do i add a cover image to the video and i positively replied we'll get back to you soon thanks for your comment so based on this comment on this particular video we are going to learn how to add a cover image or a thumbnail to our video so let's see if it is possible to add a thumbnail or cover image to our inserted video in microsoft word so let's dive in into microsoft word interface and explore these options now this is my word document opened and everything is well arranged in this interface now if you want to insert a video into microsoft word you move to the menu bar and click on the developer tab and as i said earlier the video that i have dropped in the description below shows you how to activate the developer tab and also insert your video so when you get to this tab then you move to the controls group now before then i have to locate where my video should be placed in the word document so i'm going to place this video at the end of this document so quickly to jump to the end of this document you hold control plus the end key so this has moved the cursor or the blinking cursor to the end of this page now that this is done i'll move back to the controls group we have this option that says legacy tools you click on the drop down arrow and then i'm going to choose the last command in the active x controls that is more controls when you do this you are going to have the more controls dialog box scroll down and look for windows media player and this is the option i'm going to click and then choose ok this is going to display the windows media player frame in your word document now that you have this media player frame you can select the frame by clicking on it move to the controls group and select properties you can also right click on this frame and choose properties and when you do this you get the properties dialog box of this windows media frame and you have all these options here and now let's insert the video into the windows media player so below the alphabetic or categorized tab we have this custom click and that is going to display this ellipse button click on it once and this opens the windows media player properties dialog box and make sure that you have this interface and in this interface we have the file name or url field and we are going to click on browse and when you click on browse you get this open dialog box that gives you the room to select whatever video that you have on your computer system into the windows media player so i have a folder that consists of my video i'm going to open and insert that video click and choose open now we have this offline url in this file name field now we have two tabs here we have the general tab and also advanced tab under general we have some controls layouts you can apply to your video and the first one is select a mode that is this video is going to be in the full mode as the default selection when you click on the drop down arrow we have none we have mini and we also we have invisible you can play along with this option i am going to choose the mini option but you can choose any of this option and explore that in your word document and see the one that will be very suitable to you and also we have these options here we have the playback options we have auto start we have stretch to fit we also have play full screen mode and we also have play count now the play count is set to one 
so if you have this video in your word document and you click on play and this video starts to play when this video ends this is not going to replay because the play count is set to one but when you choose the play count as two or three it means that when this video ends it will replay based on the number that you are going to type in this field so you have these options you can also explore when you go to the volume settings you can mute the video you can adjust the volume and balance of this particular video all these are referenced to you now in this interface there is no option that give us the room to add a cover page or thumbnail to our video let's dive into the advanced tab in this advanced tab we have some control settings we have enable the controls we have enable contest menu you can go through all these options and also in this interface we don't have any option that give us the room to add a cover image or a thumbnail to our video so let's move back to our general tab and we have to make sure that the apply is clicked and also ok now our video is inserted into the windows media player frame when you get to the properties panel of this windows media player we have these options here the first is the custom option that allows you to add the video we also have name that is you can give a name to this particular media frame now it is set to windows media player so you can click and erase and type a name for this windows media player that is my video and this option is when you right click on this windows media player you are going to have a contest menu all these are options you can go through and when you look at this properties panel we don't have any option in this setup that give us the room to add a cover image or thumbnail you can have a width for this windows media player you can change the full screen mode whether true or false and you can also have the height for this particular media player the height setup for this windows media player is 180 when you click you can type a number into this field you can also type a number in this field and after doing this when you get back to your interface of microsoft word you can see that this frame has moved down based on the height and weight i gave it to this particular frame you can go back and change i'm going to reduce the height and width and now i have this windows media player right at the position where i want it to be so as i said in this properties panel we don't have any option that give us the room to add a cover page or thumbnail so let's close this window and if you have this windows media player you can click on the design mode and that you can see that this is connecting to have a preview of your video now i have lowered the volume of this video and you can see that this video is playing perfectly in the full screen mode because when i deactivated the design mode i had the option to view this video and when i double click on it this video has been viewed in the full screen mode if you want to exit you can press the escape key and that brings you back to this normal mode and you can click on the design mode and now you are going to have your windows media player frame which says ready so anytime you want to view this video you make sure that this mode is deactivated now this is the frame and we have a black screen there is no cover image or thumbnail so based on this comment from our cherished viewer how can we have a cover image or thumbnail for this particular video now as i said illustrating to you with the two dialog box that we had the windows media player properties and also the properties that allows us to insert the video there is no option in there that gives you the room to add cover image or thumbnail so i am going to show you another possible way which is two possible ways you can use to add a thumbnail or image into microsoft word and have a video right in it so i'm going to select this and press the delete key on the keyboard the first way to have a cover image or thumbnail with your video is to move back to your controls group now we have this control group and in this controls group we have all these icons there is a particular icon that looks like an image or a picture which is this particular icon it says picture content control and i'm going to click on this once and as i said when you want to have these options done or you want to have this control 
inserted into your Microsoft Word document. You have to choose a location where the image or the video should be placed. Now that this picture frame is inserted into Microsoft Word, I'll move back to the controls group and deactivate this option which is design mode. And then this gives me the room to insert a cover image or thumbnail into my Microsoft Word document. So I'm going to click on this. And then this gives me the insert pictures option dialog box. And I'm going to choose the picture from file. You also have other options to choose a picture or image from stock images, online pictures, and also to choose from icons. And all these, you can explore them if you want to do so. I'm going to browse the picture from my computer system. That is my local computer system. So I'm going to click on this once. This drives me to the file explorer window and I have the option to insert a picture. So I'm going to direct my attention to the location where my picture or my cover image is saved or any thumbnail that you've designed is saved. So I'm going to click on this and then open my folder. I'm going to choose this particular image and click on insert. Now this insert or embed this particular image into Microsoft Word. You have this adjust notes around this image. You can click to stretch your image. And I think this particular size is moderate and viewable. After having this image or inserting this image into your Word document, you click on this image. And when you do so, you right click on the image and we have this option that says remove content control. If you don't get rid of this option, you can't have your video link to this particular image. So we are going to take off this option, which is remove content control. So I am going to click on it once. Now when I do so, the content control for this image has been removed or disabled. So we have much control over this image. So you select the image once again, you right click. And now in this option, this option has been activated, which is link. So you can click on it once, or you can also hold control plus K on the keyboard when this image is selected. These two options will jump you to the insert hyperlink dialog box. Now this dialog box will give us the room to select a video and link that video to this image. So you make sure that this option is selected, which is existing file or web page. And then when you move to this side, we have these options here. You can maintain the current folder and we have this field, which is look in. Now in this look in field, currently we have YouTube editing files selected. I'm going to click on this drop down arrow and then choose desktop. Now when I choose desktop, I have these items displayed on the desktop. So when you get to this look in field, you make sure to choose your location or your directory where all your items are located. Now in this desktop interface or desktop directory, I have my main folder displayed. And when I double click, this opens up all the items in that particular folder. And I have this video, which is automatic link. I'm going to select and then that links the offline URL of this video in this field. And that is serving as the address. So now that this is done, I'm going to click on OK. Now I'm going to click elsewhere in this document. This is the thumbnail or this image that is being inserted into our Microsoft Word document. But there is a link of this video to this image. And how do you know that? When you place the mouse pointer on this image, you have this screen tip that gives you this information. You have the file where it is saved. And also you have the link that shows you that this is an MP3 or MP4. And also it shows you the way you can get access to this video. So it says control click to follow the link. So if you want to have a view of this image, you just hold control key on the keyboard. And this is going to change your mouse pointer into the link or the hyperlink icon. And you can have a once click on this image. When you do this, you get this dialog box that says Microsoft Word security notice. Microsoft Office has identified a potential security concern. This location may be unsafe. That is the offline location for that video. And below this offline link, we have another option that says hyperlinks can be harmful to your computer and data. 
to protect your computer click only those hyperlinks from trusted source and we are the users or the controller or the lifeware of this computer system so we trust this source because this video is on our computer system or our local network and also this image is also on our computer system so we have a full trust for this particular source it says do you want to continue and that is yes so i'm going to click on this option you have another option that says microsoft office opening this particular location some files can contain viruses or otherwise be harmful to your computer it is important to be certain that this file is from trustworthy source and as i said earlier we are the controller or the lifeway of this computer system so we have a full trust for this source so this question will be prompted to you would you like to open this file and we are going to choose ok so i have closed this media player that is playing this video this is the first way you can link a video to an image or a cover image or a thumbnail in microsoft word and this thumbnail also relates to a video i've recently posted on my channel and that is a challenge accepted that is how to insert checkboxes in microsoft excel and also link those checkboxes to their individual cells and this video is going to be linked in the description below you can check it out after watching this video so i am going to select this image and delete and let me show you the second way you can insert a picture and link your video into that image now the second approach we are not going to utilize the developer tab rather we are going to move to the menu bar and click on the insert tab and in the insert ribbon we are going to focus on the illustrations group and choose pictures this gives us this drop down we are going to select the first option which is device and as usual you can also select from stock images or online pictures I'm going to insert this picture from my local computer so i'm going to choose this device and this also brings out the insert picture dialog box which is our file explorer and i'm going to select this image and then choose insert so i have this image inserted into my microsoft word and you can see that this has a large size of frame as compared to using the option that we utilize under the developer tab so this one you can use the not around to reduce the size based on your preference now after doing this we are going to follow the previous process you select the image then you right click and choose link which you can also use the control key on the keyboard then you move to the look in field select the location where your videos are located so as usual on the desktop then i'm going to open my folder and choose the video and click on ok now this video is right inside this thumbnail so if i want to have a view of this video i'm going to hold the control key then click on this video and you're going to have these options as compared to the previous one choose yes and choose ok And now we have our word document with our cover image or thumbnail as usual it is linked to our offline video hope this video was helpful please give it a like share and also comment if you have any suggestion or any question or recommendation you can drop that in the comment section and we are ever ready to collaborate with you thank you for watching this video and i believe my cherished viewer your problem has been solved